Welcome to Small Craft Cruising and the third Herbert restoration video. Since Herbert hasn't been run in a while, I decided to start off by getting the engine running to make sure he's still mechanically sound. I hooked up some water and gave him a couple of pumps of the throttle and turned the key to find nothing happened. A quick jump later, the four barrel Mercruiser 4.3 V6 was purring contentedly. Back to the interior, I built this box to cover the fuel tank we relocated to between the stringers. But with the scheduling issues before our trip down the Mississippi River, we didn't have the time to finish building it and had to do the trip with the raw wood exposed. Since it's the first step from the outside deck to the inside cabin, it saw heavy use and needs a good sanding. Now originally I intended to put just a layer of resin on the wood to seal it and cover the box with carpeting. But uh, seeing how much the wear it took from just the Mississippi trip and how quickly the carpet we did install got ruined, I've decided instead to add a layer of fiberglass mat and will later gel coat for maximum durability. I'm using West System Resin, which is overkill for this project, but it's a quality resin. This weekend I have help. Here's a picture from our Mississippi trip in 2016. All but Dave have come for the weekend to help with this project. We have two major goals for the weekend. First, the forward hatch leaks and has rotted the wood on the foredeck, so we have to remove, replace, and re-fiberglass underneath. Getting started on removing the deck hardware. I'm gonna be honest, most of the washers are between the pad <laughs> and the boat. Right help, you want some <laughs> The second goal is the head walls, which also serve as a structural support for the weight of the flybridge. I cut out this piece of wood on the last video, but now it needs a final trim to fit. The next morning, we did a quick sand to smooth the edges before attaching the two wall pieces together. Here we applied a layer of resin for waterproofing and are applying a mat for durability. This too will be gel coated to match the gas tank cover. Meanwhile, Kyle and Dan are suited up to tackle the unpleasant job of removing the rotten wood and fiberglass. When working with fiberglass, you'll find it gets everywhere and it itches like mad. Maybe the full suits are overkill, but it's nice to be clean at the end of the day. With the rotten wood removed, now we just have to prep the surfaces for the repair. This alone took both of them almost the entire weekend. Lots and lots of sanding. While they continue to work on the sanding, the head walls are complete and ready for installation. And that means even more sanding! Hooray! Uh, most of Saturday was spent running the sanders, getting the fiberglass ready for repair. But here's the head wall about halfway prepped, and for reference, this is the gas tank cover I fiberglassed earlier in this place. By Sunday, the sanding was complete and we were ready to install the head wall. Temperatures got a little warm, which made the resin a little runny, but it's complete. Lastly, since we had to rip up the carpet that we installed for the Mississippi trip, we now have to go back and scrape off the glue so we can install different carpet. A one last shot of finishing the head wall installation, and this weekend is complete. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.